McGravy and Apply, two team players who built a friendship over their passion for Overwatch and continue their friendship through pro play on two different teams. This is their story. Shared XP, presented by Geico. We always scrimmed, like, Mayhem, when I was on Mayhem Academy, Envy was, like, our main scrim partners. Like, we literally scrimmed, like, every day, I swear. At, at least every day. I think we scrimmed yeah. at least once a day, if not if not more than that. Um, yeah. So we, like, I had never met, like, apply, like, in person, but, like, at, us and Mayhem Academy had a really good relationship, and I think we were all friends, and we were always, you know, yeah. always laughing and, you know, talking trash whenever we were scrimming and stuff. <laughs> um, so I, I had known apply for a long time, and then the first time I met him was when, when I was on. Uh, I think you, I think you came to the facility during your trial. I think then you come for like a day before you're officially on the team. I'm, uh, maybe that wasn't you. I don't, I don't remember. But I think that I remember, was. I would think that was Smex because it might have been. It might have been Smex. Smex yeah, was, it was the other Smex person whose trial. So I think that yeah. was him. Um, yeah. No, I, I didn't, I didn't come until I was officially on. And I think, uh, I don't remember much about the first time I came to the facility. That yeah, I don't remember whole either. experience is kind of a kind of a blur. <laughs> uh, but the first, first time I met Apply was when I was on Florida Mayhem. I finally moved over, and I, we first started screaming. Um, but about the same yeah. time, I met everybody else. Um, yeah, I was I was really happy. Like, I mean, I, it's, it's no secret that that season of Mayhem was like a mess. Like, as as, as like out in the open, I was like pretty like down bad. Like, honestly, the team was doing terrible in scrims. Like, we, it was honestly a bad environment. And like having McGravy come in, like. This gave like every, literally not just me but everyone a boost of energy because it was like okay maybe we can turn this season around like or just like you know start doing better in scrims and on, and honestly we did until uh you, you know yeah you got bench for no yeah. reason oh, I mean we were doing we were definitely we were definitely doing better um, yeah we we're doing better but it, it didn't it wasn't perfect yeah but no it was good though because like I could tell that like you were like trapped when I came I was like apply does everything like <laughs> yeah. this guy needs some help and so we were kind of like we kind of like leaned down each other a lot um yeah. during the whole process and then yeah like uh the whole I got benched for no reason nonsense and it was just there was a lot of there's a lot of stressful things like going on and then me and apply just kind of like relied on each other to not completely lose our minds yeah um, so I think that's why we, why we ended up becoming such good friends I mean we're also yeah. we were also like the only two on the team that spoke English besides the big so <laughs> There's yeah. that, like, like after scrims every day, even like after a stressful scrim, even a game that we would lose, like we would always hang out after at like reprise's apartment or something, and like just like just literally vent or just like hang out. It's like it was literally like, honestly, it's terrible to have such a split in a roster like that, but that's how it was. So we really like just relied on like ourselves, like when we were stressed out and stuff. Yeah, the and then the culture yeah. there wasn't wasn't very good. Like you oh, said, yeah, it's, it not, was... it's not good to have your Korean and Western split, but that is just the divide that was already there. Like it. Yeah. There, the divide was already there, and once it's at that point, it's kind of hard to to, to, to mend the break. Yeah. Um, so I think everyone just kind of focused on their their own side and made sure they didn't you know they didn't suck, they didn't lose their minds. Like just focus on yourself was kind of like the mentality while you're, when you were uh, on the mayhem. Right. Yeah. And then we ended up getting cut, and there was like honestly we we stayed at the mayhem apartments for a while and just hung out. But you joined Valiant that season, right? Yeah, I joined. Yeah. We had gotten cut, and I think it was like a month or a month and a half after I had gotten officially cut. Or yeah. it wasn't, it wasn't like I was cut, cut. It was like I was still benched. I don't know how it worked, honestly, because I got traded, but at the same time I thought I was cut. <laughs> so I, I, I don't, I don't really know how that played out, but that, it's messy details that doesn't matter. Um, yeah. But basically, yeah, I was. We were we were at the Mayhem uh, apartments for like a, a month and a half, and then I ended up moving because I went to the Valiant. Um, and we, I mean, we, we were still friends. We still talked, and like, yeah, uh, reprise was was, was kind of like a kind of the middleman for us, like in a sense, because um, me applying to reprise were good friends, and we were on the same. We were all in mayhem together, all, all dealing with the mayhem nonsense. And then reprise ended up being uh, the valiant coach with me. So me and reprise were with the valiant. Um, while while apply, you know, it, it, it took him a bit to get here. You know, I mean, it, yeah. it, it took it, it took another six months, but we all ended up merging back together in uh, LA Valiant. The yeah, the three I ended up playing mayhem to here. I ended up playing in contenders uh, for a whole season, like in between Overwatch League into the next season. And uh, I had a few Overwatch League trials before this season. And I remember thinking like, okay, if, if I'm gonna join a team, I really want it to be Valiant. Like McGravy's on the team, Shaq is on the team, Reprise is on the team. And like, I, I knew the culture that was on this team and I really wanted to join. So that's like what my whole focus was. Like I, I really, really wanted to get on Valiant and uh, you know, just reunite. And I remember when I first got like, asked to join the team like it was official like packing called me 
He's like, do you want to join? I was like, yes. I remember, Gabby, we like planned tweets. Do you remember like our, yeah. our tweets? Dude, those tweets are so good still. Those, those like, were good tweets. We didn't, yeah. have, we, didn't, we didn't have like the reach at the time, but if those mm -hmm. tweets, like if we had the followings we do now and we hit those tweets now, those tweets yeah. would have like, exploded. <laughs> Absolutely exploded. I'm looking at them right now. It's so good that, the, who would have thought that your yeah. tweet? That is so good. Not me. We actually we didn't see each other much in between like you not being on the team. I think I saw yeah, you, I think did. I saw you at BlizzCon and then um, the last homestand, the Valiant homestand. Oh yeah, the Kit Kat robbery yeah, weekend. Kit, yeah, Kit we, Kat we saw robbery each other. weekend. Yeah. Um, yep. Um, sorry, oh, sorry. so apply. You were in the crowd for McGravy's first Valiant start then. Yeah. Wait, was it? Yeah, I was actually. Yeah, I was. That even, was, that uh, even counts as a Valiant start. Yeah, that's, I that's remember. The, that's the season's over. This one map left. <laughs> Gravy, yep. get out there and play hog, get, man. Get, get, get him in there. <laughs> That was actually funny. Yeah, that whole... I, actually, it's, it's kind of funny because going to that homestand made me want to join the team even more. Like I said, like, Valiant was my, like, number one team I wanted to join. It's, like, just seeing everyone, like, even KSF, like, like I came good friends with KSF there, like, just hanging out with everyone. I was like, okay, I really like the people and I, like, I really want to be on the team. So, like, from that, like, homestand, that was, like, my main goal was to join Valiant. McGravy for our team right now on Valiant was really similar to what I was on Mayhem to where, like he said, I was doing like a lot of stuff, like almost like The Rock, like in on Mayhem, like when everyone was like tilted and down and like if they were just having a bad day, like I would always try and like be the one there. And I think right now for our team, McGravy is that like, obviously every team, even the best teams in the world has bad days and scrims where, you know, someone doesn't want to be there or they're down. And like, you can always like count on McGravy for like, I don't know, just not being down, like trying to keep the mood up or at least being consistent. And I think, uh, you know, that's one good thing about him. It's a little, oh. it's a little weird having to sit there and compliment people like to like, yeah. you're just in there. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. I but what I said about Playa is like, it's kind of like the, like the same thing, the thing that I do, but like, even though the Playa doesn't play right now, like I know that when apply like, we'll get the scrim time or like we'll play in a match that like this dude's gonna be like at 100% every time. Like, I think there's very few players that, like, you know, like at all the times so we'll keep it at 100% no matter the situation, no matter they've been treated before. Like once he gets in the server, like, you know what you're gonna get at apply, which I think is like really good as a player, so. That was corny, but we'll yeah. take it. Yeah. <laughs>